What's happening everybody? So today we are at East Texas Hardware and Pro Shop. We are going to pick up my new strings and cables and go to the house, swap them out, get the bow tuned back up, and get ready to hunt. Today we're going to cover quite a few things that you may want to do in prep of your elk or deer season because we are about 60 days out from elk and 90 days away from the season opener in Texas. Luckily we have pigs and exotics so we can hunt year round and I do. So I'm already pretty much ready. There are a few things I want to get done. Let's go inside and get these strings. What's up man? What's up homie? Here. Take it. Oh, that's cool. Look at that, man. Who does these? Uh, my buddy in uh, Rock Springs. You had... Thanks, man. Dude. Arrow building. Great, man. She is. Arrow building, bow building, whatever building. Everybody came out of the woodwork, man. Well, at least it's now and not September 1st. Right. Guys, well, get to your bow shop. <laughs> Get your stuff in now because it's already getting backed up. You can see a couple dozen arrows right here he's working on. Strings are going to take forever if you wait till September. And then you're just going to wait that much longer to get to the woods. So get in here, get it done now. And you don't have to wait as long. Especially if you want the best. That is true. Uh, a lot of string manufacturers are going to start getting backed up. So gas, uh, Twisted X, they're going to be adding weeks onto getting that back into the shop if they order them they in September. Right, right now, July 1st, gas is four weeks out, so you won't get those till August. Heads up. I think Vapor Trail is still probably the going to be one of the fastest, which are good strings, and uh, they're probably a week out, probably nine days. So just keep that in mind. The longer you wait to get your bow here, the longer it's going to take for them to get it tuned up, ready for you to go hunting. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to show you some tips on how to make setting up the new bow and getting it back to a similar tune. Um, this bow's already losing poundage, so I'm already, I've already lost almost three pounds, so I'm not necessarily worried about an axle to axle and a brace height in my cam position uh, because I got to gain some weight so I'm going to be changing all that in order to gain my two or three pounds back but if you like the way the bow fits on your face your anchor points and stuff so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure your D loop to peep sight if you like that you're going to want to measure your D loop if not take that same D loop off and reuse it if it's in good shape I have a nose button so I'm going to measure from my top of my D-loop to my nose button and then from the top of my D-loop to my peep sight and what we're going to do, we'll get a close up of it too, is we're going to use the uh, little slot in your peep sight that you wrap your uh, string around, that's what we'll measure too. And then we'll also measure from my nose button to my peep sight just to make sure that we're getting it back in the right spot because I really like the way this bow anchors and all that so I, I want to keep this part on the string the same so because I'll show you how to uh, measure your rest and your knocking point so all that comes back into line up uh, with what you're trying to do so we'll get that put in my vise real quick and get it done all right so just all we're gonna do for this is we're literally gonna take a tape measure set it on top of the D loop I want to measure to the bottom of my nose button which is three and a half inches all right, so what we're going to measure is this little slit right here that you're going to wrap around your peep sight with your serving. So I'm just going to go from there to there. So that's six and three quarters of an inch, five sixteenths, three and five sixteenths of an inch from my nose button to my peep sight. So I'll write those measurements down. That way you can put them right back in the same spot whenever you get everything to put back into your string. So there, bow's level, frontwards and backwards. And what you want to do is you want to take a shaft, click it right there. If you have one of these little tools right here, buy one. They are super cheap. But what they do, you just clip them on your arrow. 
and I know I'm running to the back side of my level where it's, it's going to be dead even with that line. So I'm running just a little, a little knock high. Yeah, so I'm running a little knock high, but my broadheads shoot good. It's super accurate, super forgiving, so I want to put it right back into that same spot. Let's say you don't have one of these. There's a couple different things you can do. You can run your little short torpedo level right underneath the arrow to see if your level or where your level is. You can actually measure with a micrometer from your arrow shelf to the arrow. You can also get cardboard or some cardstock and just make the measurement and cut it until you have a piece that fits there. So that's a couple things you can do if you don't have the levels. But all in reality, if you do work on your own stuff, these little levels are super cheap and they're just really handy. And also, so this bow does not have yokes. It doesn't have anything that you're going to control cam lean with with your cables. So I'm not worried about my center shot because my wrist is not going to move. My cams are going to be in the same orientation, so they're going to go back the same. But let's say you're shooting a Hoyt, a bow tank with an overdrive cam system, or anything like that, you're going to want to measure your center shot because you're not going to have the same amount of twist in the new set that you're going to have in the old set. So one thing you can do is um, you can um, measure it. That way you can add your twist to your power side to get that cable or do your arrow to point back this way to get your center, center shot right before you go out and paper tune it. And then it just it makes for an easier process. I came out here, I got a paper tuner down there, I gotta go get picked up. Perfect bullet hole, the first shot, so actually the second shot, because I shot through a hole that was already existing, so it made a really bad tear. But anyway, shot again, really good bullet hole. I'm already dialed back in, so we're just gonna take a few shots here at about 25 and 40 yards. Let's see what we come up with. Okay. I know what some of y'all may be thinking. Colton, that's too far forward. You need to move your side over. Nope. For a pig, I'm telling you right now, you shoot one right there. We're gonna go look at where that leg crease is. Shoot one right here and I promise you they don't go very far. So we just follow up, there's his elbow. Right there. Come straight up. That is such a soft spot in a pig, it ain't even funny. Their bone structure is gonna run up this way and then come out up here, okay? So that is one of the softest spots you can shoot a big boar hog, and that is a heart shot, and they do not run very far when you do that with a sharp broadhead. Digging this setup a lot. Don't worry about that second shot. Don't worry about that guy. All right, so I went with the white strings. So everybody has the green, the ambush green VXR already. So I wanted to be a little bit different because they're putting the camo strings on it and it looks really, really good. So I wanted to be a little bit different. So I went with the white and I think they look freaking good. So with that being said, we are within 60 days of elk season and 90 days of the Texas opener. So you may be somewhere in between whether you get to start hunting in August, which is a month away. Antelope season is a month away. I will be on an axis hunt in less than a month. Well, a little bit more, probably 33, 35 days. So I'll be on that hunt. Uh, me and Will will be going to that. Uh, antelope season starts in the middle of August. 
um, and then you know your mule deer and elk kind of kick off at the same time which is about 60 days then your whitetail season start a little bit after that middle of September going into October which is when it starts in Texas so I can't stress it enough go down to your pro shops if you want to try something and find a good pro shop spend this few months finding a good pro shop so if you're in the East Texas area I cannot recommend Casey and Kevin down there at East Texas Hardware enough. They are phenomenal at what they do and they take their time to make sure it's done right. That's the most important thing. You want it done right. Um, you know, there, there, there are a bunch of bow shops around. A hundred, you know, I know that. And there's a bunch of good ones. But unfortunately, there's a bunch of bad ones. And um, so just make sure that uh, you get in there. You get in there now because all it's going to do is take longer and longer to get your stuff. The better the bow shop is, the longer it's going to take because there's going to be more people flocking to them to go get their stuff ready for this season. So go ahead and do it now. Said it earlier in the video, gas strings are four weeks out right now. Vapor trails are going to be probably close to seven to nine days. Um, and that's what they use. Twisted X is going to be three to six weeks out as well. Those are good strings. I'm sure anybody who makes a good string is going to be backed up especially coming in to August. So highly recommend you getting your stuff in there now. Go check it out your bow case. Have the bow shop look it over. If you need new strings, go ahead and get them done. Also, this is the time of year to play with what you have or change something you don't really like. So if you want a new arrow rest, go get it. Go play with it. New sight, same thing. Stabilizer setup, same thing. If you got three or four arrows and you, you know what? I want to try something different. I could not recommend these Black Eagle Renegades enough. They come built in with a higher FOC than anything on, not anything on the market. There are other arrows you can buy to make them heavier. Uh, but this is going to start you out at like 13, 14% FOC most of the time with a 100 grain point. Um, and that's, that's a good FOC to be at. And if you're curious about FOC, that's a great starting point. That's a great arrow. It's, a, it's, it's really, really nice. I've been super pleased with them. Um, so far so the rampages are kind of the same they're just a little straighter tolerance I can't shoot well enough uh, to notice the difference in the straightness but maybe you can um, so just keep that in mind whenever you're buying arrows that's kind of how their price is based off straightness is going to be more expensive but broadheads time to get them get them out sharpen them if you have to sharpen them replace your blades if you need to replace your blades make sure you are ready to go the minute it opens you don't want to be the last minute dude in the bow shop oh i need something and they're out of it because they've sold everything starting now because all it's going to do is frustrate you because you waited too long and i said you waited too long for whatever reason and you didn't take care of it and you weren't ready and then you're going to be mad at that bow shop that pro shop because they're out of something because everybody else in the county the city surrounding area has already been there got everything they needed and you missed out because now all the suppliers demand can't keep up so just keep that in mind let's get it done now this evening i am gonna uh do a broadhead check on it i don't think it's gonna change i think it's gonna be perfect but i'm gonna do a broadhead check on that it's not even yeah it's 11:40 right now and it is just super hot i'm gonna go inside to cool off and um get it ready to broadhead tune this afternoon and I don't think I'm going to video that. I already have a couple videos of that down uh, on the playlist. I will link that video in the description if you are interested on how to walk back tune and broadhead tune your bow. Uh, so with that being said, like, share, subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. And don't forget it's a good day for a good day.